Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome uh, to my channel and welcome to my studio. And today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. I just came back about half an hour ago from um, uh, running an errand again, playing the mom taxi, and I went to Dollarama. And bef just before I took off, um, I had watched Tina's uh, Dollarama haul video that she had uploaded uh, today, I think, or that went live today at least. And I said, oh, it's a good thing I'm watching her video because I see things that I'm going to be on the lookout for. And guess what? My store didn't have those things. <laughs> so just goes to show you that we're in the same province and her store gets things different things from my store or we get things at different times and maybe there will be some items that I will show you uh, that aren't in the store that Tina goes to so um, it's it's all a big big gamble so no more talking let's get down to see what I bought and by the way I spent way too much money because I bought several items that were like three and four dollars so in bag number one, and by the way, now Dollarama charges for their plastic bags, uh, but I, I've been very good. I've been learn, I've been remembering to bring my shopping bags, well, my recycle, my recycle, my reusable bags into uh, the stores now. So the first thing I have to show you is that I really like this glitter cardstock in this white. And I wanted some more, and I'm glad that they had a package left. There's only three in here, but it's a dollar twenty-five, and it measures eight and a half by eleven. And I made a card yesterday because it was my, it was our wedding anniversary, and I made a a, a lovely card for my husband, and I did use um, some white glitter cardstock in it. Actually, it was the Cricut brand, of course, because I, I work with Cricut, but um, I just thought, oh, I really like working with this kind of cardstock. I'm going to check next time I go to the dollar store if they would happen to have some. Now, it's not the same as the Cricut one, of course. It's not as good a quality, of course, but uh, for other projects, it will do. So I also wanted some of the sticker paper in this, like purpley pink color and this is pretty good because you get five sheets in here also it's like eight and a half by eleven and that's a dollar twenty five for the sticker sheet so these are really fun to die cut and make some fun stickers with one of the things I wanted to get at Dollarama was the energy drinks the rock star because my husband has started playing golf again and he loves to uh, drink these uh, while he's on the golf course so and they're three dollars I think each at Dollarama so they're let that's still a better deal than purchasing them at the grocery store so I get those for him every time I go to Dollarama in the spring and summertime so I got him a few of those so that's what I was saying I bought several items that were three dollars I think those are three dollars if I remember correctly and um, I need, wanted to get, well, I was in need of some hand soap in our washroom, and I usually buy the one from Dollar Tree, but I wasn't going there today. So, uh, but I saw this, the double pack here of uh, fruits and flowers, and I think this smells almost like uh, fruits and pa passions and fruits and passion. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of the the store anymore and I thought this was pretty good because it's four dollars for both bottles you get yeah you get the 14 fluid ounce uh, pump bottle and you get the refill so basically when you're done with this one you just you know take this part and put it on take this off and put you know switch the tops around and you've got a new bottle of hand soap well that's what I'm gonna do I don't think I'll bother emptying one into the other but I just want to see how it smells, what the scent's like, and oh yeah, this smells nice. So I got the Strawberry Shea 
Ooh. Mm, smells very, very nice. So this will be going in my bathroom. And I got some of these little jars. I actually bought two packages. The other package might be in another bag. Of these craft containers with the little screw on top. There are six in here. They're pretty small. I would have liked to find a slightly bigger ones, but uh, these should do. And uh, these are a dollar twenty-five. Now, when I saw these, I thought these would be great for my uh, for either using outside this summer or for um, my. There's a leaf in here. Leaf came from outside. Don't ask. Um, or either for um, to put in my boys' bathroom, so they would have a glass when they need when they brush their teeth and stuff. So, um, and but these are acrylic. They're acrylic mason jar type of uh, glasses or tumblers. So I just thought these were really cute. I love that they're acrylic. And so you get the four of these for $4. Um, I you know, $4 might seem a bit much, but you know, you do get four. So, and they do say Aladdin on them, just like the um, regular, the other types of mason jars. So I thought that was kind of cute. And, oh, there's a second package of the little craft containers. I had seen Tina haul some of the um, burlap looking duct tape with the lace on it, and that's the one I wanted to get, but I didn't see that at my Dollarama. But I did see this one that is burlap type, and it has this green print on it, and I thought this, I could use this for some sort of um, outdoor project for the summer to use with my gazebo. So um, yeah, I might try that. And these are a dollar twenty-five a roll. There's not a lot on each roll, but for a a little DIY, it should be enough. And in my Dollarama, they put the tools on one side of the aisle and the uh, craft supplies on the other side. So um, that's this is where I found this. And this is also a tape, but this one is a heavy duty cloth tape and it's for it's uh, by Duramax and it says it's camouflage. Now, I just got this because I thought this is really cool because if you look at the print, it's like a picture of, um, you know, like stuff you'd find in the woods. There's like bark and leaves and branches. And, uh, and that's why I guess, you know, camouflage for hunters or whatever. And I had no interest in that, but I just thought this would be a cool tape to use in some sort of DIY, some craft project. I don't know, mixed media maybe. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab a roll of this while I, I see it. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but something told me that this could be practical in something, uh, some DIY. So this is $4. And of course, if I need to use tape outside and have this, I might actually use it for what it's for. <laughs> the concept. I got myself another package of these markers, the double-ended markers. There's six in here. Um, they are the alcohol-based double-ended markers and very similar to other very expensive uh, markers like this. And the reason I got another package of this is because I absolutely fell in love with the lighter color. Although the colors here, I have to tell you, when you try them out, they're darker than the caps. They come, they do come out darker and the green, some of the colors do not look anything like the, what's on the cap. So do just a warning uh, for you. But anyway, I really like uh, this one, these for um, doing skin tones. And I thought I have to get a, another set because 
that's a color that I have a really hard time finding in alcohol ink based markers and I have some but they're so expensive uh, I could buy three sets basically or maybe two sets I should say and that is the price of one one of those more expensive markers that I am I have I'm accredited to teach with so yeah but I still find they're very expensive um, I picked up this watering can and needing a white watering can I didn't want any other color but white and finally found one so when I saw it I was like oh ah! I just had to get it so uh, two dollars for this watering can that it's to be used inside for my indoor plants the ones that I haven't killed yet and I oh I saw these uh, felt letters and numbers so this is what they look it's really hard to see from the packaging there are 200 uh, glue on felt letters and numbers that are one inch and this package is a dollar 25 that's pretty good so these are great for crafts uh, you know all sorts all sorts of crafts and DIYs got that and I was really excited to see this at uh, Dollarama because I any fabric store is far for me to to go to I have to drive at least 45 minutes to get to a fabric store and I don't need to buy fabric but I really like it and uh, so this is new at my Dollarama I don't know if anybody else has seen these but they have these little pieces of fabric printed fabric and for two dollars you get this piece that is uh, 19.6 inches by 27.5 inches it is a polyester though it does say 100 percent polyester it, it does do a very good imitation of cotton fabric uh, but I thought for little crafting projects this is great this is something I can keep here upstairs in my studio because my whole fabric my big stash and collection of all the fabrics I have I'm still keeping down in my basement because I just have so much of it but this is perfect to perfect size to keep up here so I got the uh, one of each that they had because I just I just had to get them so there was this uh, red one with the white polka dots black with pink polka dots purple and white polka dots blue and white polka dots and then there was this uh, like rose with kind of peachy colored polka dots next are the stripes so they had this light blue and white the beige or brown light brown and white uh, purple and white navy and white and red and white so those were the colors and they had also had some flower print so I got this um, like a creamy yellow with a little red rose and then here's another creamy color but with a uh, purple type of rose on it and then this one is a mint Kind of a mint green with little roses and this is a pretty pink with uh, roses again and then you have this like lavender color with some um, purple roses so uh, and like I said these are two dollars a piece they measure 50 by 70 centimeters or 19.6 by 27.5 inches so uh, if you're looking to have a little stash of small pieces of fabric for your crafting DIYs and such, uh, you know, this is pretty good. And they, they're all rolled up on these little cardboard things, so you could store them on a shelf pretty easily or in a drawer. Um, yeah, so I thought I did good on that. And uh, what, beside the fabric, they had lots of these rolls of the paper ribbon. 
and I know I've bought one I think I got a beige one a last time and I just thought I'm gonna pick another one up because this made me think of handles so I thought oh you know what well, might be cute to make little bags out of this and this could be the handle or the trim I know it's paper so I'm thinking this might not make a very sturdy bag or it was just an idea that I had but um, I got this roll there's a lot on here you get uh, you get two meters or six and a half feet of uh, this for a dollar twenty-five. So that's not bad. Next, I want to show you. Next, I want to show you uh, my chicken. Look at this. It's like a flower pot or um, a, a plant pot can cover. It's a chicken. I love it. I love my chicken. And I thought, oh, this is sold in with the gardening stuff and the other flower pots and stuff. And I, I guess it, my, the intention is to put it outside. But I'm actually going to put this in my kitchen with my other chicken collection. And I will put a plant in it. <laughs> I love it. It's $4. They had chickens. They had other types of birds. I think they had a turtle. Actually, I don't even remember what else they had because when I saw the chicken, I just went, like, oh my God, I gotta have the chicken. So, I got it. And then I wanna show you that I'm getting very patriotic here. But the Canada Day stuff is out and I said, I'm jumping on it because it's so cool. I got this t-shirt that says Canada A with the moose and plaid. Now, I got these t-shirts with the intention of giving them to my boys. Uh, I thought these are great for sleeping in. They'll be great to wear on Canada Day. And I thought if they don't like them, if they don't want them, I will keep them. So, uh, nothing wasted. And so this is, these are $4. So you get these cute t-shirts. And I got the biggest size that they had because I know they shrink a bit, so. And I also got this one, Canada. They have different designs and colors, uh, but those are the ones I liked. Now, on top of that, I know that they won't want this, but this is for me because it is got, it's got bling, see? So I have my very blingy Canada hat isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I know, it's so sparkly. Ooh, I want to stand out in the crowd. This is what, what I should wear, right? So I got this hat, and it is, it's a souvenir cap. It's called, that's what they call it, and it's $4 with all the diamonds on it. And I thought, well, might as well go big. And uh, I got, boy, my hair is like messed up now. Um, I got this Canada watch. So I've got my watch and this is $3. Now I know it's overkill. If I wear all this at the same time, it better be Canada day, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's not it. Mm -mm. If I got Canada day t-shirts for my sons, and a hat for me and I know my husband will probably wear a red golf shirt because that's what he likes to wear I got something for snowball I got my cat a t-shirt okay will she wear it she will for how long I'm taking bets probably not very long but for two dollars and fifty cents uh, I am going to have a lot of fun with this. So I got my snowball, my kitty cat, this red t-shirt. She looks great in red, by the way. So I look forward to seeing her in that. Now, I saw Tina and Cher uh, haul some uh, bottles with the cork lights in them. And uh, my Dollarama only had a few and this they had these ones. So I don't know if you guys have seen these, but see, and the lights up like this. It's a big chunky bottle 
And I chose this one because I want to leave it in my studio because of the color. It's pink. Now the other co the bottles, the long ones that they had, uh, the colors and they didn't have anything that appealed to me. They only had um, a green. It was a green. No, they only had blue and clear. And I wanted a more. I want a different color to put in uh, my gazebo area. So I'll have to go to another Dollarama or just wait a while maybe. But I love these. This is nice and pink. And it is, did I say the price? $4. So I think it's really cute. Uh, oh, running, running out of toilet paper. We're only going to Costco in a couple days. So got some toilet paper, $2. Four rolls, and you need it. Oh, uh, just finished uh, this this week. We had a I had a can of this. Just finished it. The Airwick fresh water uh, air freshener, or whatever. So I think these are three dollars. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, got another one of those. And as I was going to the cash in the aisle, they had this, and I thought this is a really good price. Uh, it's called, I'm just gonna look at it, True Effects Hand and Skin Shield. It's the world's most serious skin barrier cream. So this is a cream that I can put on my hands or, or my husband or anybody that's going to work with messy stuff that's going to be working with, uh, like if you're doing work in a car or like me, I work with ink and paint and stuff. Uh, it create it. That's what it, it. As it says, it creates a barrier between whatever is going to make your hands dirty and your skin. So when you're done working, uh, washing off uh the dirt the grime the grease the ink is much easier because of this barrier cream so it's like it's like gloves in a bottle and i think that's a brand name actually so uh i've been looking i've looked several in several places for something similar i've been able to find some barrier creams uh but i i paid a lot more than three dollars for them so for three dollars i'm looking forward to giving this a try and I definitely think it's uh, it's worth it for three bucks if it, it works. I'm pretty sure it will, but yeah. So I found that, so I'm really, I was really excited to find that one. Now, I was also running low on some fabric def uh, deodorizer. And when I saw that there was a cat and a dog on here, I thought, oh, this might be, this might work. Uh, for for the rugs I want to uh, refresh and you know springtime and all that so uh, for two dollars I got this bottle of extra fabric refresher and another thing that's new at my Dollarama were these Reynolds heat and eat containers and it says they're safer than plastic because I know over, you know, a lot of plastic things aren't very safe to put in the microwave. And I just thought these are great. And I like the fact that they're like kind of squarish and you can stack them. These are great for putting leftovers uh, to take to work or school or whatever. And, you know, you reheat them at lunchtime. So you get nine of these uh, for $4. So I, I'm looking forward to... Uh, Having my husband test these probably next week because he's gone now. But uh, I think I hope these are worth it. And uh, I saw this pretty scarf, and it says the perfectly adjusted scarf, pre-made, ready to wear. Okay, I don't. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's got like um an elastic band to help you tie it up I guess oh, okay whatever uh, I picked this one scarves at Dollarama are like four dollars I know Dollar Tree they're dollar twenty five but I really liked the colors of this one so I got it oh I showed you my chicken um, planter before and I thought oh to to put inside the planter I wanted to use some inexpensive plastic pot 
So I got this. Oh, I actually got two packages. Oops. I only meant to get one. Anyway, uh, these are $1.25 for the 4-inch. And you get eight in here with these little plastic pots. So they're, they're, thin, they're really thin ones. They're great for starting plants. Uh, you know, if you're starting plants from seed and all that. And they're a really good size for that. And, uh, yeah, the price is really good for that. I was happy to see that my Dollarama had re restocked some of the Tough and Clear pouches because I completely missed them the first time they were there. But the they had the very small sizes, and the largest size they had was 6 by 9 They didn't have any of the, the larger sizes left, but that's okay. I picked up some of these uh, 6 by 9s that are 4 for a dollar, and I got some of the 5 by 8 that are also 4 for a dollar. And they are very heavyweight plastic, and I really hope that the they get more of the 8, uh, 8.5 by 11, uh, the larger size. Um, oh, there's also 9 by 12 and 11 by 14 because these would be great for um, using in my studio here. And oh, when at the beginning of the video, there you saw a lid go by. It's for this. There, my store got more of these boxes with latches, and I, I was really happy because I really wanted another one, and I thought my store was never going to get them again. So. I got another box like this. I love using these in my cupboards to store products. Uh, they're just the right size for rolls of tape, all sorts of tapes. Um, so $4 and yeah, I'm happy. And finally, oh no, not finally. I did buy some garbage bags. We have 10 of these. Finally, I found these cutest flip-flops look at these they got bling aren't they cute so i got a pair in white and a pair in this beautiful rosy pink color i love this color now truth be told i don't like having things between my toes but i will give these a try because they seem really soft and flexible it's a really soft rubber and in the summertime it will probably get even softer with the heat and i just i just love the rhinestones on it and the pink color just i love the color uh, i would have gotten the black pair if they had uh, a pair that would fit me but they were all too small so um yeah i got these two and these are three dollars or three dollars and let me check here three dollars and fifty cents but i think they're really cute um so that's that for uh my dollarama haul today i hope you liked it i hope you will give it a thumbs up please like comment share subscribe if you're not already subscribed and until uh next time take care of yourself uh stay crafty and i'll see you after the next video bye <laughs>